Hello, in the upcoming videos we are going to work around the theme of ornamental flowers. When you think about ornamental flowers, they are most of the time eye-catching because of their size, their color or their uh, shape. So, because they are eye-catching, it can be difficult to use them. They are an asset when you work in a big arrangement, then they are because they can be tall or just big in size, then they fill up your big arrangement immediately. But how to use them just at home or in a smaller arrangement? So when you, for example, in the videos who are coming later, we are going to work with a peony, allium, the flower of the wisteria and sorry I forgot the name it's a coxcomb <laughs> so they are all different in shape and, and color so when you work with flowers like this is you have to think from how I'm going to use them so that my flower because they are ornamental, is the first thing you see or I put in something more than just the flower. Because most of the time when you take a vase, you put in the flower and you think oh, it's done because I have a beautiful flower. But Ikebana is more than just this beautiful flower because it's something, a collaboration between you and the flower so you have to put in also something from you so you have to listen to your flower you have to communicate and you have to try to make something what's more than just made by nature so i have here two examples already just to show how it can be done you can use the flower on its own with uh, the leaves from like here the wisteria I use the wisteria and the leaves from the wisteria to make an arrangement or you can combine them with other materials but just always thinking from my ornamental flower it's my main object and how I'm going to put something extra in it what I like or what I find it enlightens this flower so you can go with something in contrast of the shape of the flower or you can think about a line you put in extra together with the flowers so because in Ikebana it always goes around line shape color so when you think about those three subjects, you can imagine a, sh uh, a form where to work from. Or you can go also very natural or basic to build up your arrangement. So in the following videos, you will see step by step how I used these four flowers in our arrangement. So, Let's go to the next video.